Which iconic movie will be making its return to the silver screen for its 25th anniversary? Well, JLo knows, and soon you will too. And which controversial celeb is no longer allowed to perform at the Grammys? Stay tuned. Making Kent feel like, like Hollywood, Hollywood, this is The, the Blurb. Blurb. Thanks for sticking with us. All right, from music to TV to movies to podcasts. Cameron, I have a question for you. Which celebrity is finally ready to speak their mind? Absolutely. Well, a little over a year ago, Meghan Markle and her husband, Prince Harry, signed a $25 million deal with Spotify to produce a podcast. And it is finally coming. The couple's production company, Arshwell Audio, told Page Six that the public can expect the podcast to hit the platform sometime this summer. The exact subject of the series is still unknown, but a representative claimed that the Duchess of Sussex is expected to be combat combating misinformation. And after all of the issues that led to Meghan and Harry leaving the royal family, hearing Meghan's unfiltered version of the story is expected to draw a lot of attention to the series. And apparently it's 2017 again, at least according to the feud between Josh Peck and Drake Bell. The two stars, known for their roles as the protagonists of the Nickelodeon show Drake and Josh, first began their dispute when Drake called out Josh for not inviting him to Josh's wedding. But Josh has only recently spoken out about the event on the BFF podcast. Josh claimed that he and Drake had not spoken for 10 years at that point, basically since the show ended. However, Drake apparently sent Josh some rather harsh texts on his wedding night because he wasn't invited. Josh went on to say that Drake created a narrative for the internet that wasn't quite true. Later on at the VMAs, Josh stated that he confronted Drake and forced him to apologize to his wife, citing that it was the most Sopranos thing he's ever done. Drake responded to Josh's retelling of his own podcast, saying that the exchange was actually a lot calmer and lighthearted. Looks like we'll never know really what happened between these two Nickelodeon stars, but you can check out both sides of their story on the podcasts. Did you watch Drake and Josh? I did a little bit, yeah. Are you calling me a liar? Absolutely not. Oh, that's not what it was. If you know, you know. Oh. It was just over a month ago. I'm not calling when the we, truth. There we go. When we found out the name of Kylie Jenner's son, Wolf, and the internet had an interesting reaction to it. But don't worry, there won't be any more Wolf memes because Kylie announced yesterday that her son's name is no longer Wolf. She made this FYI post on her Instagram story but did not reveal what the kid's name actually is. Kylie claimed that the change came since she and Travis Scott felt that Wolf just didn't feel like him anymore. Whenever they do announce his name, I'm sure Twitter will find a way to make fun of it in no time. <laughs> All right, moving on. It's time to grab those tissues, Loki stands, because Tom Hiddleston is officially off the market. Tom and long-term girlfriend Zowie Ashton confirmed their engagement. So the couple first met in 2019 when they played spouses in the Broadway revival of Betrayal and reportedly started dating right after the play finished its run. They confirmed their relationship status a whole two years later on the Tony Awards red carpet. Last weekend, they sparked engagement rumors at the BAFTAs where Zowie was spotted wearing a beautiful diamond ring. But now, People has confirmed their engagement a big congratulations to the happy, happy couple. And sometimes celebrity news surprises me, sometimes it doesn't. And Dylan O'Brien blowing up his coffee maker just seems to make some sense. So Dylan told BuzzFeed in an interview that he brought an entire filled coffee maker with him to London while filming his latest movie, The Outfit. Unfortunately for O'Brien, the machine broke as soon as he plugged it in because the voltage is different between America, where the coffee maker is from, and the UK, where he was filming. He claimed the coffee maker literally blew up. Now you can watch Dylan relay the tale on BuzzFeed's YouTube channel now. Another week, another story about Kanye. For this week's latest, Kanye has been pulled from the Grammy lineup after he made some controversial comments online. For context, this past week, Daily Show host Trevor Noah talked about West's controversial Instagram statements regarding Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson on his show. 
After the episode, Ye posted a screenshot of Noah and captioned it with a racial slur which then caused his account to be temporarily suspended for harassment, hate speech, and bullying. Then, reportedly, Kanye's team received a call saying that he will no longer be performing at the Grammys because of concerns about online behavior. The decision might also be influenced by the fact that Noah himself is returning to host the Grammys this year. The Grammys will take place April 3rd, but there is no news as to who will fill Ye's spot in the performance lineup. It's Britney, bitch. And <laughs> she's making new music for the first time in six years. I can't believe I said that, but I love Britney Spears. According to the Daily Mail, her last album, Glory, debuted in 2016, so fans are getting excited over the news. However, it's not quite time for fans to get ahead of themselves because a source reported that Britney isn't putting pressure on herself to release anything right away and is still putting the feelers out there. The singer is currently enjoying her engagement with fiance Sam Asghari on some much deserved vacations, but her indefinite break from music seems to be coming to an end, so keep your eyes peeled for all new releases. Now, let's keep with the music and the queens because long live the queen, Selena Quintanilla Perez. 25 years after the release of the biopic about the Coma LaFleur singer, the movie starring Jennifer Lopez is being re-released in theaters nationwide. Selena's family took to Instagram to post the exciting news, which J-Lo also celebrated on social media to celebrate 25 years of the release. Monday, saying how honored she was to be a part of the movie and that she will never forget that time of her life. Now, the film will be in theaters April 7th, but Get this, Selena fans, April will be a big month for the late singer because you can expect some new music from her that month too. Her father is releasing music from the Q Productions Vault, all produced by Selena's brother, A.B. Quintanilla. Wow. Cannot wait, I love Selena. Absolutely. Well, Buffy the Vampire Slayer star Sarah Michelle Gellar has shocked absolutely no one with her top pick for a potential Buffy reboot. Like anybody making a fan cast for anything ever, Geller chose Zendaya to play Buffy because, well, she's Zendaya. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the show, so Geller thought it would be a perfect time to share her dream casting for any potential reboot in a new book by Evan Ross Katz. The book, titled Into Every Generation a Slayer is Born, How Buffy Staked Our Hearts, is a celebration of the milestone, which t goes into detail about the show's cultural relevance from the start of the series until now. The book is currently available to buy, but there is currently no word on the actual Buffy reboot. I hope it happens though, that'd be cool. That'd be amazing, Zendaya, a great pick, nice. but stay tuned because when we get back, we are revisiting all of our favorite classic YouTubers to answer the question, where are they now? Stay tuned. Now, when it comes to early 2000s and early 2010s YouTubers, I think we can all agree that they influence our lives mm -hmm. one way or another. So today, we're going to recap some of the ones that we think impacted our lives the most and where they are now. All right, well, I think we should start off with the OGs, O2L. Mm -hmm. So we have Kian and yeah. JC, who are still doing YouTube and <sighs> have their own channel and have gained a lot of success from yeah. their own channel. Then, of course, we have Connor, who came out as gay and has moved over more to Instagram content <laughs> and TikTok <laughs> content, mm -hmm. apparently, from what I was told. Yes. Oh, yeah. But he's still doing YouTube sometimes. Yeah. Um, and then we also have Ricky, who has come out as gay and started with YouTube after they all split, but now moved over to streaming on Twitch. Mm -hmm. And then we have Sam, who was married, uh, Sam. then got divorced a year later. Rough. Okay. Um, and then moved okay. away from YouTube. <laughs> um, so we kind of, he's just kind of doing his own life. Yeah, and then yeah. we have Trevi Moran, who has come out as trans and is now making music. Did anyone listen to? I've not listened to her new stuff, not. but the old stuff is, ooh. I, I listened, listened to Ricky Dillon's music, though. <laughs> okay, period. I did. Period. I did. His so Cowboys now, to Demi Lovato, yeah. <laughs> so now we have Dan and Phil. Um, which, yes, Dan and then Phil on my side. Um, they both came out as gay. Phil is still doing YouTube and Dan is featured on his channel mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. And they're still living together, which I think oh, is just adorable. That. Dan's pretty active on Instagram. That's all I know. Okay. I love that. I right. love that. I did go to their uh, shows and I loved them. <laughs> of course them. you did. I literally loved them so much. Oh. I, was a, I was a big stan. I literally loved them so much. All right, who's next? Oh, oh wait, yeah, Dan X Dan. X Dan. Dan wrote a book, I believe. Also. I think they both did, right? Wait, yeah, they wrote a book together. Yes, they oh, did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's fine. All right, so next Damn. we have Dan X Pen. 
Okay, yeah, no, they both wrote a book together and yes. then Dan wrote a book on his own. Cool. Love that. <laughs> now we're on Gen X Pen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so she still does YouTube. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's come out as bi. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah. We love that for her. Right. Um, I know that she had a girlfriend. I don't right. know if they're still together. Yeah. And but I know that she had a YouTube original show called Forza. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I never got to watch it, but I wanted to watch it so bad. <laughs> it was very cute. I'm sure you I still can. Yeah. I probably could. Yeah. yeah who could. knows? YouTube original is kind of like. YouTube original. They kind of went downhill. They should make like a Netflix show with like all YouTube originals. Like, Stop. That would be so good. YouTube. But besides <laughs> oh, her different. YouTube original, now she's pretty popular doing like video game stuff on her oh, yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So next we have Zoella and Alfie Days. They're so cute. They they're are so, so cute. cute. I so, love them so much. They Aww. just had a baby, so congratulations to them. Yes, and they're yeah. also girl. still doing YouTube. Zoella Moore is the YouTuber. She was like the, the girly girl, like, yes. like she's the makeup like, icon. Love. I yeah. loved yeah. her so much. I always was watching And now her it's shows. more of like getting mm -hmm. into more of like the lifestyle and also right. like vlog, yeah. family yeah. vlog yeah. kind of That's stuff. That's similar yeah. to Bethany Moda, too. Because right. yeah. they were kind of like similar. They were similar. They were similar. Yeah, because she had the accent, so she had a level up. So, literally. Love my girl. All right. Who's next? Who is next? We have oh Joey Grisaka. Hi, Joey. <laughs> Which I had the biggest crush on him. I think we all did. Which everyone did. I could win in this category. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I believe he's still doing YouTube. He is. Yes. Okay. Uh, but okay. also, like, I, I um, love that he does rescuing of animals. Yeah, that's like oh, his big really? thing now. Yeah. So yes. It's he so also sweet. was super popular because of his, ne or not Netflix, his YouTube original show, Escape the Night, which had oh. four seasons. Oh and it was gosh. the most popular show I was on about. YouTube originals. It, it was, was like, like a game it was, show. Yes, it was like, like a game show, oh. but also with a little bit of drama in there. Yeah. Oh with God. YouTubers. Kind of like a clue-esque. Yes, yeah, exactly. Clue. That's clue. exactly, exactly. what it was. Okay, now we're on to Jenna Marbles Jenna. and Julie and Solvita. Yes. And they are engaged, and I oh. love that for them. Mm -hmm. Her video um, is so funny. I love her video so much. Um, Jenna unfortunately yeah. quit YouTube, um, but hopefully she comes back. Mm -hmm. But if not, totally understandable. Yeah. I literally watch all her videos on my iPod Touch, you guys. No, oh, same. Oh, I literally watched like, the chunky I was iPod like, Touch. No, I watched it all the time. But Julian is still online, but he's streaming on Twitch, mm -hmm. and he's one of like the Twitch top is streamers. Common yeah. oh, nice. and and no, nice they all go to Twitch. They all go no, to they Twitch. Really do. But also, it's nice because he does give updates on Jenna and their life a little bit. Oh, so yeah. that's how we were able to find out. And their four dogs. Yes, and their dogs. I love their dogs. All right. So next we have <laughs> Miranda C. Oh, yeah. Also known as Colleen Ballinger, who is still doing YouTube on her own channel, but Miranda Sings does pop in here and there. Yes. And she also is very popular outside of it, in the theater world especially, because she was on Broadway recently as okay. Dawn and Waitress. She had the Netflix like show that she created about yeah. Miranda. Haters back off. Yes, yeah. exactly. Haters back and off. then she Haters also off. had a Netflix <laughs> comedy special. Plus, she's also written a couple books about oh. Miranda Sings and a bunch of other she's stuff. She's an it girl boss. Plus, no, no, literally. She's, like, yeah. she's married, she's girl married boss. to girl her boss. co star of that show, Eric Stockland. Yes, and they yes. also just had a boy and two twins. So, congratulations okay. to them as well. Yes. Okay, now we're on to Tyler Oakley. Mm -hmm. King. Just Everyone King. had a crush on him, I feel like. I, think, yeah, I, I had a crush, but I definitely wanted him to be my, my best friend. Like, yeah, he oh my gosh, best for friend. sure. I made an oil painting of him in middle school for a If only like, we had it. <laughs> Stop, I wish we had it so we could look at it. Um, he did leave YouTube, <laughs> and I literally don't know anything. He just kind of like he just fell off the he, face of the earth. He's like, definitely I feel like become that's like the Twitter happened. person. Yeah. Like he talks about like Twitter stuff and like mm. does some Twitch here and there. Some Twitch. Yeah, yeah but definitely nothing. Again, Twitch, Twitch. but nothing Literally. too crazy. Like he definitely is just yeah. kind of like in the back half of social yeah, media and is just like enjoying his life. Impact. He yeah. actually went to my friend's high school. I love that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right, so oh. next is PewDiePie. <laughs> PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Still doing YouTube <laughs> and thriving Dude because he has, has over 110 million subscribers. I'm quite sure he is the number one subscribed person yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. surprised. There was a whole thing where it was like him king. and like an Indian movie channel or music video channel, which oh, were like wow. fighting for the top spot, but I think he took it. Really? Yeah. 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 He's the only YouTuber to have like a Ruby play button. Because you know, yeah. like they give out those play buttons. But oh yeah, he's the only gosh. one to have a Ruby one. That's insane. Because he has so many. But yeah, gaming. There you go. I am not a gamer. I watched some of his gameplays. No, uh, until until dawn, that one mm, was a, yeah. that was a good one. Yeah, and I know that he did get married like a few years ago. <gasps> no, he did. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about yeah. that. <laughs> Where's my brother? Like, like the it. YouTuber, right? Yeah. 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 All right. So now we're on to Lily. Has her own talk show, mm -hmm. Girl Boss Vibes. Um, has written a couple of books and also 
gave a TED talk recently about gender okay. equity. Okay. Yeah, so, and she's, she's also she's also in season two of Dollface on Hulu. Really? Yeah, I, I love that. that. Yeah. So you know what, girl boss vibes. For right, her. she flipped girl the switch. Yeah. Switch? <laughs> <laughs> she flipped the switch. I yes. love that for her. Are you sure you didn't mean Twitch? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no. All right. So, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Who's next? Now we're moving on to Liza Koshy. Yes. Okay. Yes. Icon. Icon. Got her start on Vibe. A great red carpet commentator when she when she's invited to a Met Gala. She's very. No, she's and she's knows straight. her like she's knows so her good. comedy too. Like, she yeah. does. She really does. Seamlessly moved from she's Vine to YouTube. Funny. Yeah, yes, she's it was naturally. perfect. She's like also just like really moved to mainstream media. Right. Yeah. Like she was mm -hmm. on like a new Netflix movie, and then she has like she's been on like she's Tyler. got the credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's, she's, she's got her credit. credit. She literally like, has like been in like she was in the Medea movie. Yeah, that's what it was. Medea. She was in Medea, and she was recently in a Netflix movie called Work It. She definitely has again. Because she works it. Yeah, no, literally. And now Grace Helbig. From the Holy Trinity of the Henry Holy Hart, Trinity. Grace Helbig, and Hannah Hart. Love no, that. I love that. I love, did any of you guys watch our Drunk Kitchen? I did. Yes. I did. I loved oh, them. I loved so them good. together. I, know. I thought that they were great. Yes. So she just stopped her podcast, which was not too deep. It was very successful. Had a lot of like famous names on that yeah. podcast. Mm -hmm. And so I she had that podcast. She also did like a small show and a small podcast with Mamrie. And of course, all Mamrie. three of them hang out occasionally, but they've all kind of taken their step back. And Hannah Hart. Don't forget. But I do know that they also, they opened up like an Airbnb house in like, oh, shut I think up. Like nice. Arizona. All right, oh, I'm well, going. stick around because after the break, we're going to be discussing the Oscars and our predictions of who's going to win the gold. <gasps> Sorry for cutting you guys off. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, stick around. The Oscars premiere this Sunday. We have all of our predictions now here on the blurb. So what do we think about Best Picture? The nominees are Belfast, Dakota, Don't Look Up, Drive My Car, Dune, King Richard, uh, Licorice, Pizza, Nightmare Alley, and The Power of the Dog and West Side Story. So I really, I think I'm the, I don't know. I kind of want West Side Story to win. Okay. I have two. Okay. I've, I've seen I'm, Don't Look Up and West Side Story. I'm hoping for Don't Look Up. I loved that movie. Okay, really? good. Thank God no. that someone agrees with yes. me because I love Don't Look I Up. I love yeah. Don't Look Up. I thought it was really, really good, and it's just mm -hmm. on Netflix. It didn't. I, there wasn't that yeah. much publicity around it, but like Power of the Dog is also on Netflix. Yeah, Power of the Dog was really good. Yeah. yeah. So I, I would, I think that they're gonna win some Oscars though. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of hoping that either West Side Story or Don't Look Up wins. Yeah, yes. I feel like Dune definitely. Has, Dune uh, is definitely probably going to win. A good chance as well. Yeah. yeah. Right. After uh, the leading role. Yes. Yeah. Yes, leading role. Uh, we got Javier Bardem and Being the Ricardos, Benedict Cumberbatch and The Power of the Dog, Andrew Garfield in Tick Tick Boom, Will Smith and King Richard, Denzel Washington and The Tragedy of Macbeth. Kelsey, I, I want see, Andrew I Garfield yes, to yes, win. Yes. I want yes. Andrew Garfield I to see win. So I saw your reaction and no. I wanted to be like, who's yours? Because I'm on the exact yeah. same no. page with you. I, I think the three of us are it. all on yes. the same page. Andrew with that Garfield, one. he did. So he well, did yeah. wonderful, and oh my gosh, his singing voice, I know. gorgeous, yeah. and it's I heard shocking. Great about it. It's shocking because you wouldn't expect him to be a singer, a really no, good singer literally. as well, playing, um, playing, Spider-Man. yeah, playing Spider-Man. Yes, right. Yeah, exactly. Oh gosh, you no. wouldn't think about he's that great. stuff. Well, and he was also, also he's also in the other uh, nominated film, um, The Eyes of Tammy Faye. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Just but Ray Jean, think. what do you think about who you think's gonna win? I honestly, I think it should go to Will Smith just because. Okay. It makes sense. Yes. He's only been the last time. He was nominated for an Oscar was The Pursuit of Happiness. Right, wow. which, oh. and, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, we gotta move on, yeah. but <laughs> what about the actress in a leading role? I understand, role? Regine. Yeah. Yes, uh, Jessica Chastain and the eyes of Tammy Faye. Honestly, I think she's gonna win that one, but yeah. Olivia Coleman and the lost daughter, Pen Penelope Cruz and Parallel Mothers, Nicole Kidman and Being the Ricardos, and Kristen Stewart and Spencer. I'm Kristen honest. Stewart? Mm -hmm. It. Really? really? I like, haven't seen any of those movies. I think seeing the improvement about. from Bella right, and Twilight exactly. <laughs> to Spencer. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing about Kristen Stewart and Andrew Garfield is that we're just seeing different sides of them yeah. and these yeah. roles, and that's why I think both of them have really good shots. Yeah, I, I, and I think that they deserve it, honestly. Yes, I but agree. I love I, Jessica I, Chastain. Yes, I yeah, love I, her she looks unrecognizable. Yes. And 
I feel like she probably killed it. And I love that like Penelope Cruz and Javier um, Bardem who yeah. are married to each other. They're both nominated for Oscars this year. I feel like yeah. that's nice. cute. Penelope moments. Cruz is a severely underrated actress. I remember yeah. watching her in American Crime Story mm -hmm. um, yeah. with Darren Kress yeah. and all of them. I remember watching that. Pirates I was like, Caribbean. she is, a, yes, she is severely <laughs> okay. underrated. So yes. kind of rooting for yes. her too. All right. So animated feature film. Encanto, Flea, Luca, The Mitchells versus The Machines, Raya and the Last Dragon. Okay, first thing first, Encanto's taking it home. Yes, Encanto is Encanto's definitely, definitely going to win. <laughs> like, it has the best but, story, I yeah. think, and yeah. I think it does a great job in representation. Yes, yes it does. What do you guys it think really about does. that? Yeah, I, I, I think, think it really it's does. good. I think it's really good. Yeah, but uh, I also, I feel like also the Mitchells versus the Machines could win. It's just like, honestly, a really, like, up to par show. But I definitely think Encanto should win. Yeah. I haven't seen it. L Luca was talked about a lot earlier. <laughs> Luca was good. Luca's really good. I yeah. think that Luca is really good. I do think Encanto's gonna win. Though. I think oh, Encanto. Encanto. Just without a doubt in my mind, Encanto's gonna Encanto win. Encanto is gonna take it. I find and, it funny yeah. that they both have characters named Bruno with, within. Uh, yeah, they do. Yeah. 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 We don't we talk, talk about, about Bruno. Bruno. No. Stop. <laughs> or, okay. or Luca, Silencio Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> now on to right, cinematography. Next. Well, we got Dune, Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, and The Tragedy of Macbeth and West Side Story. All right, I do have to pull my name out of the hat and explain this first because okay. West Side Story, that beginning scene, that it makes really me want them to scene. win because yeah. they're going, it's one shot, and yeah. it makes them going all around that area. Yeah. I just think it was so good. No, so I get chills incredible. thinking about it. I have so much chills thinking about it because of just how, and I remember saying this when I was sitting yeah. alone at the movie theater <laughs> watching this movie. Yeah. I said when that first shot came on, it has to win because yeah, something, yeah. because this exactly has amazing cinematography. Listen, I think that I they should win. I definitely think they probably the win. power <laughs> of the dog will win or Dune. Okay. Dune, Dune was really good too. And, and it's uh, Steven Spielberg's like first like musical movie. Right? Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Steven Spielberg did such an incredible job on yeah. that movie. All right. Well, Next. let's go on to costume design. Ooh, we got Cruella, Cyrano, Dune, Nightmare Alley, and West Side Story. Okay, so Cyrano, Cyrano, Cyrano. Jenica, our producer, yes. loves the costume in that, and they really wanted to make and it known. So, and I think, there you and, go, but Jenica. okay, I'm being honest though. Jenica got a point. Yeah, <laughs> they Cyrano, showed me like some of the outfits, yeah. and I was like, okay, Cyrano, pop off. like yeah. literally go. Like, Cyrano here. is an incredible film because of just how intricate all of those costumes, yeah, and how much and how amazing they look on each of the actors, and just how it represents the time period. It was amazing, and it fit yeah. all of them yeah. individually. Exactly, yeah. and I think yeah. that's what's so important, and especially um, about Cyrano, I think yeah. it's just an important film. And, Again, well. Cruella was very good. Cruella, Cruella, Cruella very good their costumes. Well. I'm gonna be I honest. Was like just in awe. Yeah, I think Cruella's gonna take it. Really? Just because yeah. of how, just because of how insane some of yeah. Emma Stone's outfits they were. were yeah. so they good. were so good. They were insane. They yeah. weren't. West Side Story, though, I loved. So now go on to directing. Director, we have Belfast, Drive My Car, Licorice Pizza, The Power of the Dog, and West Side Story. Who do we think is gonna win? Probably West Lightning Side Story. Lightning Round. West Side Story. West Side Story. Big name, and obviously. I yes. think that's it for everything. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Any final thoughts? Honestly, I feel like Dune is just gonna win a lot. And I think Encanto is also gonna win a lot as well. Yeah. yeah. Yes. All right. Well, don't go away because next up, the cast of the Blur will be guessing which celebrity said our favorite TikTok audios. use audio bites um, and kind of create short videos um, using both songs and kind of audio bites but um, celebrities oftentimes are the voice behind those audio bites that you hear while you're scrolling through the app just again and again but you might not know quite where they come from so we're gonna play a game today to kind of listen to and then guess which celebrity said each of the famous TikTok audios so first up Good soup. Play, but this one, it's good soup. Good Do you guys soup. know who said good soup? Good soup. I know who said it. Can I go first? Yes, yeah. go, go, go. You go first. Good wait, soup. wait. <laughs> so there we go. So that's good soup. Adam Driver. What? Yeah, absolutely. Adam Driver. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from Marriage Story. I think it's in Marriage it is. Story where he it says is. that. Yeah, it's Adam Driver, and so he's kind of like sitting in a diner, mm -hmm. takes a bite of that soup, and he goes, good, good soup. soup. And, and, so and I feel like it, 
it fits so many just like quirky little TikToks that, that are funny. Right, like I'll drink my coffee in the morning and I'm like, mmm, good soup. Yeah. And, then we, and then we all understand it and it's yep. just really funny. Absolutely. Okay, next. It's like everyone understanding that we all have different priorities and like working is just, it's not my top priority. Who is it, you guys? Kim. Car Kim it's Kardashian? not Kim Kardashian, but you're right, Chloe, that it is a Kardashian. What do you guys it, think it is? Is it Chloe Kardashian? It's not Chloe either. Ugh. Oh, is it Kylie? <laughs> it, it is Courtney, you guys. The one we oh. didn't name. Yeah, yeah, no, literally. <laughs> I'm not up to date on my yeah. Kardashian. Yes. But Kim's the one that says that you have to be working. She, oh. She's the one that said that. <laughs> Absolutely. And and I mean, so in the wake of that, it's kind of relevant to look back at that. I guess they all have, have that viewpoint. But regardless, that is Kourtney Kardashian. She doesn't want to work. Okay, <laughs> next up. What? Um, Chow. Anyway, so... Who is it, you guys? Nicki Minaj. It's absolutely Nicki Minaj. <laughs> so in that video, she's in like a live stream, and someone asks her a question in the comment yeah. section, and she doesn't really respond, and then she's just kind of like, okay, moving on. She reads it's it, really and she sees it, and she's like, huh? And it's the funniest thing ever. Oh yeah. my gosh. And it kind of works for, for any topic that you're like, okay, moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, next up. Don't be suspicious, 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 don't be suspicious. This one's so catchy. What do you guys think? Where's it from? Um, it's from Parks and Recreation. It is! Oh, do you know okay. who says it? I don't know. It's, it's Jenny Slate. She's the one that's kind of singing. But, um, I mean, it's such a funny show. And I feel like that one's really funny when you use it with, like, pet videos, when pets are doing yeah. funny, weird things. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And they're doing like stuff that they're not necessarily supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay, those next up. No sleep. Bus. Club. <laughs> another club. Another club. Plane. Next place. No sleep. You guys know who this is. Who Lady is it? Gaga. Absolutely. That is oh, Lady it's, Gaga. It's Lady really? Gaga. See, mm -hmm. I never I had no idea. But yes. Okay. Sir. Yeah, I think kind of towards the beginning of her career. She's in an interview. I just think it's such a funny one. And yeah. I, I hear it all the time. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I love that one. I always made jokes like, when I'm going to college, club, another <laughs> club. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Lady Gaga style. Okay, next one. This is the last one. It's like a reward. Do you guys know who this is? I didn't like, this is know. This a celebrity. It is a celebrity. This is an actor, but it's a soundbite from a movie. It sounds like Adam Sandler. It's not. But it's not him. It's not. So this is actually Christoph Waltz, and it's from the movie Django Unchained. Okay. And I didn't realize until I was watching it recently, but it doesn't really sound like his no. voice because it's right after he takes a drink of water, and then he, he says it. It's like a reward. Mm -hmm. It's like a reward. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's yeah, it's super crazy. funny. <laughs> I never would have guessed that. I know, I know. But it's, it's an actor, and it's probably one that we all know. Yeah. That's all we have time for today, but please follow us on Instagram and Twitter at tv 2 the Blurb. We'll see you next Tuesday with all the celebrity. Stay safe, everyone. Bye. <laughs>